hi everyone so this is going to be an empties video I haven't done one of these in a few months and I have accumulated a lot of empty products I've got a big bag here which is full and I'm pretty much just going to if, if you haven't seen it before then maybe I'll go I'll go into more depth of why I like it but if I if you have seen it before I'll just tell you I like it it's a repurchase um, otherwise we're going to be here all day so yes start off with Batiste shampoo Trop tropical I actually prefer the dark brown less like the medium to dark brown version just because this one is the original and it kind of leaves a white streak sometimes in your hair you've just got to be careful about lifting up layers and popping in some dry shampoo but I love dry shampoo I would highly recommend it if you're one of those people that gets kind of greasy hair quite quickly dry shampoo is like the lifesaver like mummy lifesaver I think this is method hand wash this is actually in the kids total repurchase love method in general so hand wash is great um, I've just finished the Cerasonic by La Roche Posay I've just had this um, I got this at the beginning of January so it's lasted me two months which is really really good it's a spray toner I would highly recommend it if you've got oily prone skin and it's a total repurchase for me and I love it yeah really good um, this is the vanilla brulee body polish by the body shop it's basically an exfoliating shower gel love it I love the body shop so affordable and it feels really luxury because the scents are so um, lovely there's so much choice and scents but they're so cheap they're so affordable you can get them really good deals online as well um, this is good things manuka honey creamy cleanser I probably use this up around October November time really liked it actually um, this one has royal jelly I probably would uh, repurchase it but I'm currently using my Neutrogena one which I really like um, but this is really nice it's really really good and it's affordable and you can get it in boots I have the shampoo and conditioner these are the naked 0% and yeah really like them I like to switch up my hair shampoo and conditioner stuff quite frequently because my hair gets too used to stuff and then it just doesn't work but this stuff's really really nice it's really um, clarifying it's a good clarifying shampoo just to get rid of all the nasties and build up in your hair and again you can find this in like Asda really really cheap I've got the simple clear skin oil balancing exfoliating wash I've literally just run out of this and this has basically been my shower um, like face wash every time I'm in the shower like after the gym this is what I use and I really like it I haven't repurchased it just because I couldn't find it but I basically bought the Garnier version um, which was only two pounds this one has witch hazel I would definitely recommend it and I would definitely repurchase at some point um, really like that this is the L'Oreal ever pure no sulfate um, hair mask I've been using this for the last like three or four months really nice you only use it once a week so it's quite um, intense and you can really notice a difference in your hair like the ends it feels super super soft um, again very affordable and I would definitely repurchase that very soon and we have a organic surge shower gel this is the sugared almond which I think is discontinued I think but I love it, a really lovely, really sweet and it lasts for ages this bottle and you can pick these up from Ocado or Organic Surge online or even Waitrose as well this is Halos and Horns Baby Bath I've actually run out of probably three of these but I've just put one in here these go, I go through these really really quickly because obviously the, the kids bath quite often you know, a good four or five times a week and again really affordable it's hypoallergenic um, it's kind to eyes it's no parabens no nasties and it's usually about two pounds a bottle in asda so yeah recommend that for babies and the kids obviously bath time i've run out of i think i've got a couple of these actually let me just round these up oh god i've got loads uh yeah i ran, ran out of the body butters in the body shop i've probably been using these for the past three or four months and I love them. I love the body butters. I'm currently using. What am I using at the moment? I can't even remember. It might be. Oh, it might be the Chocomania one. That's the one I got on on offer and sale recently. Um, but yeah, the blueberry is current. Is basically one of my favourites, but it's limited edition, so it's discontinued now. Sadly, these are the Christmas versions. This one is the. What is it? Cranberry one, and this one's apple and this one's vanilla brulee again lovely would recommend those totally really lovely if you've got dry skin because it's really quite thick and really moisturizing um, another face wash I use this one up probably September October time I can't remember but um, Vichy this is really nice this is for um, oily prone skin it's the green the green Vichy all that stuff is for anti-aging and oily skin 
um, purifying gel wash, really nice. Yep, probably repurchase in the future. You can pick that up from Boots. I've got some deodorants. This is the one I'm currently using as well. I love the Sanex. It's just really nice. It works well, especially if you're quite sweaty. Um, Anti-white marks, which is always good. And then the Sure Women's. I'm not actually a fan of um, sprays. I just don't like them. I find they really make me choke. I don't know why, but I just don't like sprays generally. Hair stuff. I've used up the Moroccan Argan Oil. This is an oil spray. Um, you just spray it in the ends of your hair, whether it's wet or dry. It's really nourishing, and I actually need to pick up another one of these. Um, you can buy that from Boots, and it's by the Organic Spray range at the bottom there. Very affordable, about four pounds, I think. Another Organic Surge, this is Bergamot. Um, yeah, really nice. It's really sweet and smelly, and um, again, just really natural. I go for quite natural sort of um, sort of paraben free products if you've noticed. I've got some of these cotton wool pads, these are my favourite, the ones from Superdrug, they're oval, they're really big, I sometimes can half them as well, um, and they always have them on offer for like two for two pounds or two for two fifty. I've got a couple of nail varnish removers here, these are the ones that you stick your finger in, love them. I actually really love the Superdrug brand because it's a lot cheaper, it's $2.99 and the Maybelline and Bourjois ones are about $4.99 so they do exactly the same like honestly. Um, yeah I love those, they're really great for if you're a massive like nail varnish, varnish wearer and you hate taking off your nail varnish, this is just uber quick, really really quick. A couple of makeup products, I have used up the Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, Serum, this is really nice, Radiance Serum or Radiance Reveal. Um, yeah, really nice. I can't get any more out of that, sadly, but I probably will repurchase that, although it's kind of orangey for my skin. I've got quite a white complexion, and I think sometimes it's hard to get a foundation to match without looking slightly orange. Although this one, the L'Oreal True Match in N1, is probably my most favourite. Reminds me very much of my YSL one. So much cheaper. I need to repurchase this, actually and it's great coverage and doesn't break me out, so love that. Um, Dolled Up 17 Mascara, it's a total repurchase for me. This is probably the third or fourth one I've ever had. I just love them, they're really affordable. It gives you really lovely natural looking lashes, uh, quite long, um, and I always get it in the brown black as well, so it's just more daytime for me. And then I've got the Dream Lumi Touch by Maybelline. I love these sort of concealers. These are especially for the under eye because although it conceals the dark circle, it kind of has like reflective particles that kind of highlights it as well. Um, yeah, love that. Okay, so final, the last few products. I've got this Invisible Garnier Mineral Deodorant. I absolutely love the scent of this. I picked this up from the pound store a long time ago. I need to repurchase it because the smell is like a perfume and it's lovely and it really works as well as a deodorant and it's no marks. Um, yeah, I love that and I need to get another one. I've used up a Bioderma. This is the Sebum um, H2O, which is for the oily skin. If you notice the difference between the red top is for the dry skin and the green top is for the oily skin. So yeah, I love that and I've I use that all the time, mainly just for eye makeup remover. I've used up this Botanics, nope, this Nutra Organics um, Body Shop Soothing Day Cream. I probably use this up around October, November time. Really nice, doesn't break me out, really light, great for daytime. And I've used up the Vichy um, Thermal. This is basically like a, I don't know, kind of like a toner spray, I suppose. It's, it's quite nice, quite hydrating. It's very on par with the quarterly sprays. Um, I think this was like a freebie or in some sort of box, but I like it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy it though. I don't know if it's worth purchasing. Use up the Deep Action um, Exfoliating Face Wash by Superdrug. This was actually really, really nice. And this was another one that I've used in the shower a few months back. Really nice. It's just a great all-in-one with the exfoliant inside. It's not too harsh. Um, very affordable as well. And then a couple of nail polishes that I've used up. I've used this stronger base coat. Um, I've had this for a very long time and it's just so gloopy I can't use it anymore. But I have repurchased it. I really like the Rimmel base coats and top coats. And this is the top coat that I've used up. Again, it is, looks like the stuff in there but it's so gloopy I just cannot use it. It just drags too much. Um, but again, I, it's a total repurchase for me. I've used up this eye cream, which you can't see. I've probably had it for like a year and a half. It's by Antipodes. It was the, I think it's the Kiwi Seed um, eye cream. I think that's what it's called. I'll link it below. Really nice. 
um, yeah, the, the tub lasts forever. You can see it's just such a massive um, tub. Although I didn't think it works wonders, you know, I used it for such a long time and I didn't really see a massive difference. Um, probably not something I repurchased though. Another eye cream that I've used up, which was a sample, and I had two samples of it, which I absolutely loved. But this stuff is so expensive, it's like £50 or something for about 30 mil. This was, um, like I said, just a tester, and I had two of them. Um, it's by Murad and it's Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes and honestly this stuff was just, I don't know if you can even see it, it's quite um, tiny, it's so amazing, it, just so brightening and tightening and I don't know, it was just really creamy and it just soaked in and yeah, but it's so expensive so I probably won't ever buy it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all my empties. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll try and link everything down below or link similar products. Um, yeah, and I will see you all soon.